When 8K TVs were introduced in 2018 with four times as many pixels as 4K, they promised to revolutionize our TV viewing by offering hyper-realistic pictures. However, since then, 8K content has remained frustratingly thin on the ground, with YouTube mainly streaming promotional content at this resolution, and Netflix and Amazon holding back altogether. While the BBC has worked with Japanese public broadcaster NHK to trial 8K since as early as 2012, it has yet to roll out the format. Likewise, BT Sports trials of Champions League football in 8K are yet to go on stream, though it's hoped they'll start soon. But with the price of 8K TVs having plummeted by over 500% since launch, could this be a good time to future-proof your viewing experience? Or will a cheaper 4K telly be just as good in the real world? To find out, we've come to the Alexandra Theatre in Birmingham to see a performance of a different kind. Yes, it's a tale of two tellies. A 4K versus an 8K, both 55 inches and both from the same manufacturer, but with different price tags. Wonderful to tread the boards again, dear Johnny. But uh, where are these TVs? Introducing tonight's entertainment. Ah, what a splendid entrance. But the producers have held back some vital information. Which is the 4K? And which is the 8K? Maybe these cards will tell us. So, it says that mine has voice control with built-in Google Assistant and Alexa. It says here that my TV has got all of those things too. How about picture modes? Mine has 10. Yes as does mine. What about the refresh rate? Mine's 50 hertz. Oh, pitiful, John. Ooh. Mine is 100 hertz. Not only that, I've got HDR, a quad-core processor, plus all the smart features you could shake a stick at. Yeah, mine's got all that too. With their specifications being very similar, we're still unable to tell them apart. But wait. Oh, challenge one, John. Mm. Resolution and clarity. Can you tell which TV has the highest resolution just by watching them? While the headline specs are almost identical, the 8K TV has four times the number of pixels. But can we really tell the difference? We were provided with two promo reels designed to make each format look its best. So this one I'm looking at at the moment, the one right in front of me, is pin sharp. It is. It's interesting, but there are some things that look staggeringly sharp on here. I think it's very dependent on the footage. That vegetation, for example, right at the edge of frame there. Yeah, absolutely. From this distance, it's hard to tell. It is. At about three metres away, which is a typical viewing distance for a TV this size, it's hard to tell them apart. So we're going to cheat. How close can you get before seeing the pixels? Oh, that could work. If they both look very sharp, but I can make out the individual pixels on that from here. Oh, I can't wow. on this one. If I lean into yours... I can from here. Those trees look incredibly sharp. Mmm. This is undoubtedly, for me, the 8K TV. We're in agreement, <laughs> then. This is the 8K. Yes. But were we right? Ooh. Ah, ah. There we are. We were. We yes. were. Yes. By correctly picking the 8K, it wins the clarity and resolution challenge. But let's face it, viewing from an average sofa distance, it seems my 8K's extra pixels would barely make a difference. Not with our eyesight, anyway. Challenge two, colour and contrast. TVs are more than just the amount of pixels, so our producers commissioned professional photographer Verity Milligan to snap some pics around Birmingham. These real-world scenes are a good reference point, so we can judge how well the TVs replicate colour and contrast without the distraction of movement. And first up, this rather lovely picture of Birmingham's canals, and I've taken a liking to the colour on the 8K TV. It's quite vivid. Yeah, see, uh, that is my issue. With the 8K rendition of the photograph, there is a hyper-realism to it. If I stepped out into this scene right yes. now, I feel that that is more like it would be, the 4K version. Uh, the colours are more subdued, certainly. Both displays use LG's nanocell technology, which produce over one billion colours. But what about contrast? It seems the jury's out on this one too. Th there seems more contrast on the 8K picture. No, 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 Don't. I would argue there's less. No. Both TVs have local dimming, which should help produce deep, dark, rich images without losing detail. Something we can look out for in this nighttime image. I can make out those triangular things in the crane. Really? Are they struts? But it's the 8K that seems to produce the deeper blacks. I would say that the 8K handles the contrast and the dynamic range better. 
Yes. So, despite one or two squabbles, we both agree that the superior dynamic range of the 8K set means that it also wins round two, just in time for our next challenge. Challenge three, Ooh, upscaling. Awesome? Film a performance in HD and let each TV upscale the footage as much as possible. The best overall picture quality wins. Of course, most of the content we consume at home is at HD or even lower resolution, so it's important our sets can upscale content well. So we've asked one of our camera operators to film professional breakdancer Nene Taps in 1080p HD to play back on our TVs afterwards. Oh, very good. Oh, should we go and have a look at the footage? Yes, let's. By upscaling HD to 4K, there are four times as many blank pixels to fill in. And 16 times as many to fill with 8K. Now, it does have a more powerful processor, but will it be enough to produce a better upscaled picture overall? John, I have to say, already on my screen, it's looking a bit sharper. Yes, you've got more detail on the 4K picture than the 8K one, sort of counterintuitively. I suppose it could be with the 8K TV going from HD, you've got so many more pixels to invent, uh, to interpolate. Yes, but you would expect that the better processor that the 8K has would be capable of doing that. It's got a more powerful processor yes. in the 8K TV, but it's perhaps not powerful enough. Yeah. Especially when you're looking at the lights, the lights are sharper on the 4K, they're a bit more... Yeah. With a crisper and more natural-looking image on the 4K, the decision is unanimous. No doubt about it. This upscaled HD picture is better on the 4K TV yep. than the 8K TV. So, after some rigorous testing, we're now in a position to say where best to put your money. So, the question is, is it worth buying an 8K television? Well, on the basis of that test, no, because you're going to spend most of your time watching upscaled footage, and that looked better on the cheaper 4K TV.